Now it's time to make our homemade marshmallows. It's great because homemade marshmallows are super easy and they don't contain any of that icky high fructose corn syrup. So I've dusted a pan with some confectioner sugar and I have some granulated sugar, water, and gelatin here. I'm gonna start by dissolving my sugar and water and then I'm gonna add my gelatin to it until it boils. So I've just dissolved my sugar in my water and I'm gonna add my gelatin and bring it to a boil. transfer this to my mixing bowl and then I'm going to let it cool and then I'm going to beat it for 10 minutes. I've let my mix cool for a couple minutes and I've added some salt and vanilla extract. Now I'm going to mix it for a couple minutes until it doubles in size. They've doubled in size and it look just like marshmallows. Mmm, they're delicious. All we have left is to put them in our prepared plan and let them sit for a while until they don't stick to our fingers. now is to dust the top of our marshmallows with some powdered sugar so they don't make too much of a mess when we cut them. I am just dying to try these. I've got my homemade graham crackers and my homemade marshmallows. Don't they look good? They are good. So I just I just cut my marshmallows and then dusted the edges with some powdered sugar so they won't stick together. Now I'm ready to head out to the bonfire. It seems like mine's done. Ooh, it 